My husband was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. The person that I shared my loss with for 40 odd years is the one that's gone. My wife, Mary, um, passed away with brain tumor. We were together about 20 years. She was determined to live as much and as long as she could. And the fact that his was a suicide, it was very, very difficult for everybody to deal with. And I just needed somebody impartial that cared just about me, and that's what I found at hospice. Someone might think that volunteering at hospice is grim and hopeless, and it's the opposite. There's a lot of passion in what people do here. Everyone has different skills that they can offer or different interests that they have. I was glad to see how many opportunities there were for volunteering. I've done <laughs> just about everything from wash the dishes to lead a meditation group. I found that those insights into myself and really helped me grow, I actually started dealing with the grief instead of hiding from it. I do palliative care, which I have a passion for. I'm also a therapeutic touch practitioner here. I do admin work. You can dog walk. Lucy. I was involved with the children's grief program for a, a number of years. I drew pictures, I painted, we talked about it. I just like it a lot. By coming to hospice, I've learned a lot about grief. It is what I do in the time that matters in, in my grief. It, grief is work and I can't do it alone. It's so much easier when you share and everybody here is more than willing to do all they can to help. After a while, it became more of a family type of atmosphere for her up here. She did come up here for the benefits, but she, she loved coming up here just to, to be with the volunteers that she had met. In this work, we meet people in their truth. We meet them as authentic human beings. It's a huge privilege to meet people and accept them and be accepted by them as, as who you really are. You learn definitely about the other person and what they're going through, but you also learn about yourself a little bit more. Language issue was really a great part of my concern when I was with my client. She was so great. She's always making me sure beyond language there is a better way to be with people. You're learning all every every day when you're working with clients. She really taught me how to be brave, how to be accepting. How important being positive is. What's important to life? Family, friends. It's just so exciting to see people learning more about accepting death and that hospice is about living and not about dying. And I know that life will never be the same. There'll be some sense of, of a new normal and and I'm glad that hospice is going to be there to help me figure this all out. People don't think they can carry on, and they do. And to me, I just find that phenomenal. There are a lot of volunteers who do many, many different things, but everybody feels like a community in this space that we are privileged to come together and serve the community the way we do. I love them all. Um, they've done wonders for, for our family. Being a volunteer, is such a rewarding and a worthy job. My favorite like memory of the hospice was that I wrote a note to my mom and, and I let it go through. It just really helped me and now I'm not so sad anymore. You will change. You will never see life as you see it before. You can't beat it. It's the kind of environment that you hope you get to be a part of. Your life is touched and it's touched forever and it's a glorious experience.